hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn how to solve problems involving vectors using the casio fs another one es plus second edition scientific calculator easily and fast from multiple choice questions so ensure you stay with me till the very end of this video as usual you guys are going to learn a lot okay so these are the questions we're going to practice with after solving them with you guys in this video you will be in a better position to be able to solve basically most problems you will encounter involving vectors so ensure you stay to the very end once more let's bring the calculator now and get started so this is a cast to fs another one es plus second edition scientific calculator the very first thing you will have to do will be to reset the calculator to put it in default mode very very important so to reset or to clear the calculator just press shift button 9 put instructions to press 3 press support and press support again so we have we see the calculator now it's done in default mode so the next will be to put it in vector mode to do this press mode vector is option 8 now this is the question it says if vector p equals this and vector q equals it find these problems under these vectors okay so vector p is three dimensional vector we're going to label our vector p and calculate as vector a and vector q we're going to label it as vector b on the calculator all right so go for option one when you press it you will be asked to choose the dimension of the vector so this is ijk vectors three dimensional vector which is option one as well so let's simply the values we have seven okay seven i just take the coefficient all right leave the i minus three j just impute minus three leave the j okay and we have two k just leave the k and put two so that's it as I'm putting the values that have been stored on the calculator automatically, so we're good to go. Let's go up here and impute the values for vector Q, which will be a vector B on this calculator. So if we shift this button 5, when we look at it closely, we see vector on top of it. Just press it. So let's go for data now to impute the values for vector q which will be vector b on this calculator so press data when you come here so we're going to go for vector b which is replacing vector q as a question press 2 the dimension is still three dimensional vector press 1 for it so we have 4i press 4 okay 5g plus 5g press 5 and uh, we have minus 3k press minus 3 so that's it guys so at this juncture now guys we have finished imputing the values okay so let's begin to find what we ask of five respectively let's remove this so vector p plus three vector q which is addition of the vectors so to do this press shift button five so we have vector a which is a vector p here so press button three okay plus three vector q okay so we have three shifts this button vector q is a vector b so that you guys press support and get the output so this will give you the addition of the vectors to get the subtraction which is the b part of it let's move this press shift this button again so we have vector a okay we have two all right minus vector q shift this button option four so that's it press equal to so this will give you the subtraction of the vectors now to solve the magnitude of vector p and q very very easy guys let's remove this all right now for magnitude magnitude in mathematics another term for it is absolute value all right 
so you see that you say magnitude or absolute value so for this calculator let's begin with magnitude of vector p so if you look at here carefully this hip button we see abs on top of it it stands for absolute so if we shift this button absolute value of vector p okay which is vector a on the calculator we press shift this option three close the bracket so that's the press of two so this will give you the magnitude or absolute value of vector p to so get out of vector q remove this go back to shift hip button so let's equip vector b which is replacing q on the calculator shift this vector b okay close the bracket that's it so this will give you the magnitude or absolute value of vector q we're making progress now to get a scalar product let's remove this scalar product will be shift this vector a which is sorry shift this vector a option three which is representing vector p here okay so bring out the dot sign all right just press shift this button again dot is option seven press seven okay so dot vector q which is vector b here shift this okay option four so that's it guys this is the dot put dot or scalar put dot all right press record soon so we have it to be what seven it's as simple as this guys now before we solve the cost put dot if you are new to my channel ensure that you subscribe to the channel for more of my videos also like share and comment on this video guys i really appreciate this and it helps the youtube algorithm to promote or recommend more of my videos to people out there so having done that guys support me on this channel let's go ahead and solve the two last questions we have let's remove this so we have cost put dot now for a part of it very simple just press shift button 5 so vector a times vector b okay so that's it guys press equal to and this will give you the cross product lastly for cosine of the angle between vector p and q now guys pay attention here to get the cosine of the angle between the vectors note this this is the formula you're going to apply it's going to be cos theta equals the dot products of the vectors divide the product of the magnitude or absolute value of the vectors all right so to do it on the calculator let's remove this from vector mode all right press shift but tonight let the calculator does the show way to remove it from vector mode press three for all press point press report again so it's in fraction the dot put dot we got it to be seven and the absolute value of magnitude of vector p was seven point eight seven okay times that of vector q was seven point zero one okay so these we are the values we got respectively let's press equal to now for the output okay so this is what we have now remember is cos theta equals this 7 over 7.87 times 7.07 which are the dot products and the products of the magnitude respectively so to make theta subject formula you find a cost inverse of what we have here so to do it just press shift this cost button cost inverse of answer press this button for it close the bracket press equal to so this will give you the cosine of the angle between the vectors 82.71 degree all right so this is basically how you can solve problems involving vectors using the calcium fs another one es plus second edition scientific calculator in seconds fast and easily from multiple choice questions hope there's something interesting from this video Let's go to the video guys. If you are new to this channel once more, ensure you hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel for more of this video. Also like, share, and comment on this video. Let me how you feel for what you learned from this video. If you seem to have any
specific questions asked regarding the things of Dr. Bart in this video. Feel free to leave your question in the comment section below. I'll be sure to give you a response. Alright, now click on the end screen above and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys.